that. And so the downside of this one is that it is only available for itraffic.com because the, it uses what is not really, it is not really an API yet, uh, but it's uh, using multiplayer functionality, but that's how we could call it. And um, this is not available for the the free version of H5P, but I'll switch to my next tab. Um, again, from Germany, there's uh, Sebastian, oh, uh, that was mixing. I'll, I'll speak, uh, no, I'll pronounce it German. It's Sebastian Rettig. And he's the creator of Lumi, or the co-creator of Lumi, for example. And he has this proposal for an open source multi-user extension for H5P, which basically would be um, would be the same kind of. Um, so the, it's not it's not creating the chase, but it's creating the underlying functionality that would be needed to create things like the chase or emoji cloud. So to enable communication basically between uh, clients. And um, yeah, he has this proposal here and we can have a look at it. So uh, I can scroll down, you will already see there is a demo video, but we can have a look at it live uh, too. So I'll try if I can uh, figure this out. If many people log in now, it might be confusing, but uh, but he has a demo server. So, um, oh, first of all, I'll share the link, of course, if, we, if you want to have a look. Um, yeah, and so uh, I will open this in a new tab. So here. And uh, I will also open this in a new private window on my other screen. And then let me prepare this. So let's put this one here and uh, get the other window. So now I have two windows. So on the left one will be my, my teacher mode. So I'll here, I'll log in as a teacher. Oh, by the way, this is like a demo server that as uh, Sebastian has set up. So here I'll be the teacher. And this is basically the teacher view. And on this right side, uh, I will log in as demo user one. So I'm logged in here. And um, I haven't given any answers, so I'm not sure where we start now. Um, so this basically, this is like really like a, a real Kahoot clone. And you see, uh, I would see here, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is correct. And here now as a student, I see, I can see the time ticking down. So I'll just choose that blue button. And here I see given answer has been one. And now the time is up and automatically um, the user here will see, okay, this was wrong. But again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So with this, interface um, you can create stuff like that so this is really like a server and client stuff and web sockets and all that shenanigans so again as a teacher next question I can see the scores now and uh, go to the next question yeah and yeah no answer given and now I'm again I'm a student and let's choose the correct one and then um, I as a teacher say okay show the answer and I sh see the answer just like a hoot <coughs> And it's really, it's not about, um, yeah, this content type or demo, but it's it's about the underlying functionality. So with this, you can create, um, yeah, multiplayer content types for H5P in the free version. Um, downside here is, <clears throat> um, what, what, how to explain this, but... but um, the original plugins are written in PHP and creating something like this, like a WebSocket stuff, is not that trivial for PHP. I've never tried, but that is what I've read on the net because I was interested. Um, so basically, to have that, you would have to set up a kind of a second server, which is not that, it's not complicated. You, can, you just need to install it and you're done. It's all like in one package that would work. So um, would be some... Uh, work for an admin, but would be doable. The downside is, um, well, it's a little more complicated. And then you may have content types that work on one platform, but not on the other, which you could say is bad. Um, on the other hand, we already have that with xyv.com, but it would be like even worse, you could say. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not completely sure about that. So I like, I really, really like this multiplayer API. Um, and I think the technical approach that Sebastian has taken is is the right one. 
but I'm just not sure if it is good to um, because currently it, this implementation is for WordPress and uh, you would have to again have to have I think you have to have separate implementations for all the plugins or platforms so you might have it here but not there and I'm not sure if that would be um, yeah, desirable. I'm, I'm not really sure, but maybe you, you you can tell me your opinion. I'm really interested because I'm really torn. Uh, again, I, I like the feature set itself, but not that you have this kind of split way. So, oh yeah, Matthias is sharing a link. Yeah, I, I, I've seen Chili Frog, but this is kind of. Um, Wait, where you can? Uh, oh no, what's his name? I don't remember. But we've been in contact. Yeah, we can even you could arrange. Um, stuff. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm looking for words. I'm really interested. Um, do you have an opinion on that? Like, is it a good idea to have like a separate separate server? Kind of to enable multi-user content. I am. I am not sure. It, it will work for for one platform, of course. If you just one school and want to use it, fine. But if you want to sh still want to share content, so somebody might download it and can't use it somewhere else. And it, yeah, I'm. I'm completely not sure. Oh yeah, Stian was his name. Yep. He's also from Norway. As though he was working in Switzerland. Okay, well, now you know there is like um, like a first demo. Um, you can see it's already working. It would have to be implemented, of course. And this is just one content type. Uh, you may have seen the other. Uh, oh, um, no, here, not here. So... Uh, well, wait, was it here? Yeah, so it could be like a voting machine. You could just collect likes or dislikes and count them. Uh, yeah, but it could, really could be anything. It could be an Etherpad that you create in HFP or something like Padlet or you name it. So basically really nice, a nice technology, but I'm not sure about the implementation. On the other hand, um, the HFP core team couldn't do it in well, wouldn't do it in PHP as well, so um, I guess so. There may be no better way to do it with two servers or 